All right, welcome back, guys, to Wife Like a Plays, our adventuring guild. We've got something going on here, a little vent. Um, I put in Clayt. I think that's that's how you say your name. If it's not, I'm sorry. But um, looks like all all uh, mages are ladies. So that's what we're going with here. So I've made a little uh, quick AI art for you. There you are. We'll see how long you last. There's no guarantees you'll survive. <laughs> But you are our strongest character at the moment, so well picked, my friend. Okay, let's see what this lady's got to do. I think she's a trainer. God damn it. How often do I have to tell you? That's not how you shoot an arrow. I'm sorry, ma'am. Hold it like, like this. Try it again. Yes. Ding. The arrow missed the target by a mile. Oh, great. You trying to piss me off? Yikes. No, ma'am. You like kittens? What? <laughs> Do you like kittens? Yes, very much so. Maybe I just get a whole bunch of them and put them everywhere but the target. <laughs> yes. Maybe that will motivate you to hit the damn target. Probably would. No. Dear gods, who have we got now? Well, there. I think this is enough training for today. How about we just call it a day and get to you tomorrow? Yeah, thanks, sir. Uh... Hmm. Look how far she can run when it's no, not laps around the field. Astrid, how often have I told you it would be better if you were just a little bit nicer to the adventurers? I think I was perfectly reasonable. Really? The whole kitten thing is reasonable? Did you even hear yourself? Hey, Falcon. Oh, Guildmaster. You saw all that, huh? Pretty much. So, I don't think you have to met you haven't met yet, Guildmaster. Let me introduce you to Astrid, the archer and structure. And structure? And structure. Astrid, this is the new Guildmaster of the Adventures Guild. Are you also here to tell me how to do my job? Normally I w <laughs> wouldn't. But I do think you're threatening to take kittens as hostages goes a bit too far. Fine. I won't take kittens as hostages. Would have never thought that something like that was even on the table. We could already do arches though, couldn't we? Uh, with enough time, I'll eventually make real adventures out of you guys. Okay, so class-wise, character's busy. What, is she, what does she do? Does she give us a different additional arches? Need something? Astrid. Have you been with the Adventure Guilds for long, Astrid? Is this supposed to be a social conversation? <laughs> Don't waste both of our times. Better or worse, I'm a guild master here. I should know the people working for me. Do you honestly care, even care? I do. I care because Fran would have cared. Fine. I actually started here as an adventurer when the guild was still in its infancy. Honestly, at first I had no intention to join the guild. I was already an adventurer at the time for some years and I already know how many of them are really them really are already know how many of them really are. Okay. I can only imagine the guild as a hot spot, hot pot of thugs and ruffians. Why did you change your mind then? Out of falling out with my own adventuring party at the time. They wanted to do a quest I simply couldn't agree to do. So we went our separate ways. It wasn't until much later that I heard that things went wrong for them during the quest and they all ended up dead. Sorry to hear that. Don't be. They were bastards and deserved to die. Well... <laughs> The only reason I work with them is because I don't think they would stop so low. Stoop so low. I was actually thinking about returning and killing them in their sleep myself. Okay. Whoa. In any case, an adventure with a party was more likely to end up a dead one than one, one with it. Wait there. Without a party, it was just more likely to die within, instead of, in, well, oh my gosh, my words today. Let's try and read it as it says it. In any case, an adventurer without a party was just one more likely to end up dead than one with. But it wasn't easy to find another party. In the end, it felt like I had no choice but to check out the guild if I wanted to improve my survival chance. Is that because you were threatening them? As it turned out, the guild was actually different than I thought and ended up in a party I could work with. I did quests for the adventuring guild for many years, but it ended up when I lost my eye. After that, Incident, the previous guildmaster offered me a job as an instructor and I accepted. Now we're here. What happened to your old adventuring party after you stopped? 
I do not want to talk about them. Don't even ask, don't ever ask me about them again. Anything else? That's all, mate. You say so. All right, so teach. So we haven't got any new... So these are all the classes we can have. High Mage, Assassin, Ranger. So you can go from a Archer to a Ranger. Requires 10 Strength and 12 Dexterity. Is that it? Novice, Veteran, Master. So there's Masters we haven't even unlocked yet. Cool. Alright. Okay. Can anyone else level up then? You can't just jump through them quickly, though, can you? Like that. They're busy. Like, she'd have tons of intellect. Requires intellect 12. Okay, well, she's only got 11 or something. Or 10. And wisdom 10. Plate. How close are you? We need one, two more intellect. And two more wisdom. Okay. All righty, then. So we'll pick a quest. Has anything else changed yet? I don't think so. I think we're waiting for everything to reset. Okay, assignment complete. Find the myster mysterious girl. The adventurers found the person disturbing the road. And it turned out to just be a normal girl. Unsure what to do with her, and the adventurers have brought her with them back to the guild. Maybe talking to the girl will shed some light into what she's doing. Okay. Well, they leveled up from going on the quest. Cool. There's an adventurer who is already... Yeah, okay. Thanks. Saw that. Zero percent. Well, that's guaranteed. So we'll re-roll. And then hopefully we get this one and maybe one of the others. Or double. Not bad, not bad. Okay. View class details, defender. He's not happy. The last quest was hard work, but at least I succeeded. Why are you unhappy that you went on a quest that you succeeded? You're in a you're in an adventuring guild, mate. Complete an assignment. Oh blimey, he does that? No one likes to work. No one likes to work here. The adventurer is like, you're gonna sell me it twice. Right. The rogue. Hmm. That's bound to do it again, and then we're... I think we can do better than this. I just hope we get this as well, though. Oh! A double on a 5%. Look out. Someone needs to be this lady now. All right. Um, That's all we can do, isn't it? I don't want to lose these guys. I'm going to get attached to them. New skills. Okay. Teach them some new skills. What do we got here? So I could... Um, I feel like they could fit this on one page. It's, it's close anyway. Okay, the block. So you're actually a really good character, Trevor. Because you got... You're a bit arrogant, but that's wisdom and bravery. You're popular. You got a healthy body. Um, so it's not bad. So giving you block would be pretty good. Physical melee, second win. That's a heal of yourself. Heal your 10 hit points. Our basic skills take control of the battlefield. Cover and taunt. I feel like at the moment we'll just go with block. Accuracy could be good. Do that for now. I'm losing money. Quickly. Next adventurer. Next adventurer. Okay. Crit base by five. Shadow step. That's right. She can jump to someone else. Teleport to select a hidden tile. Hit a uh, tile and hit it until next turn. Plus 30% physical attack until next turn. So you shadow step behind someone and attack them. While invisible. Potentially. Bit of dodge, plus 50% dodge until next turn. Not 50%, 50 dodge, whatever that is. And he's not only get a bonus hit chance for each of their allies surrounding this unit. That's right. 
Hmm. 5% crit chance doesn't seem that much. When you get a you get a guaranteed crit, don't you? When you're stealth. So this would be way better. How much does it use? Eight. Eight mana? She doesn't have that much, does she? Only got 22. That's five mana to, to dodge. And it costs no points. Oh, it costs one point. Both of them cost one point. I think this is more usable. Okay. So this is all restocked, is it? Well, we got two assignments that we can put people on as well. Uh, we still can't make any of these. You need tons to be realistic here. And why would you need to make these? And these people can't actually do it. Oh, I thought your stock would um, restock. Your stock would restock, but it hasn't. These are so powerful. I'm going to take one of those on each of our missions. Take two. Um, and then heal. I could heal the guy, but that's fine. Oh, you want to talk to us? Falco! Viola! Wow. The mood turned cold all of a sudden. I heard the Adventure Guild has found... Our ghost. He did. He's over there. Oh, look, she, she's a chemist. Are you... I'm sorry. This is all my... I have, I swear. Hey, can let me be, please? I didn't like this ever since we got here. This is what happens when the kids have to spend too much time with you. They <laughs> simply realize you're actually a child-eating witch. Hmm. He was fine until you showed up your ugly mug. Don't bring my pretty face into this. You know as well as I do that I'm at least at least an 8 out of 10. <laughs> Pigs perhaps. Jeez Louise. At least I'm not trying to hide my age behind makeup. <laughs> what? I don't act like that. I'm pretty sure everyone knows about it. Take that back. Make me. Uh, guys. Big tag. Guys. What? Yikes. <laughs> Everything tends to her. I just wanted to say that you're scaring the girl. Is she hiding under the table? Come out, kid. There's nothing to fear. You gonna sell me off now? What? Of course not. The adventurers, are you not? Kid, what do you think adventurers are? Different word for bandits? Really have an imag Im image problem. I don't know what you've been heard about us, but we won't do anything to you. Really? Really? So, adventurers aren't bad guys? Well, if you d disregard this person here amongst us, you're not helping, Viola. You stay out of this. Well, it's true that adventurers are a rough bunch of people, but most rumors about them are greatly exaggerated. They aren't highwaymen. So there's nothing to be afraid of. That's a relief. I really thought I was in hot water this time. I'm really sorry about the behavior, but my mother used to warn me about adventurers. She would always tell me how adventurers would always keep trespassers into their keep trespassing into her house and take things that aren't theirs, or how they always respond with violence to everything. Um, talking about RPGs in general. I guess those stories weren't true after all. Let's not burst the bubble. Anyway, the reason the adventurers brought you here was that someone had been causing a disturbance. Very close to the Adventures Guild. I guess that was you, right? I'm sorry. I don't want to cause a commotion. But I was scared of bandits, and whenever someone approached me, I put them to sleep with my potions. Potions? Now that I look at you... Are you by any chance an alchemist? That's right! Emily is the name, and potion making is my game. I'm from the family that has been producing respectable alchemists for centuries now. Or at least that's what my parents always said. Let's see. Now, have only one question left. What are you doing all alone in nearby woods? But I heard you've probably been roaming there for weeks now. The truth is I'm searching for something. Something that I believe is hidden somewhere here. And what would that be? It's a rare plant. Something I've been looking for for a very long time now. You've been wandering the woods for weeks just to find a plant? Don't you know how dangerous the forest is here? Especially when you're going out alone? Just like, sleep, sleep, sleep. But I still need to search for it. Then how about you try looking for it from here? It would be safer than just wandering around the forest on your own. 
And if you want to look for that ingredient, we can have at least some adventurers escort you to keep you safe. I really don't have much money to pay for lodging and protection. You had some before. Why don't you, don't you work for us instead? We'll pay you. Didn't you say yourself that you were an alchemist? As it happens, we do need an alchemist. We also have a building you could move to. Oh, I'd love to get some more potions. What is this? You can be nice to somebody? As long as that somebody isn't you, I could be an angel. So how about it? If you want, you can stay with us and we'll help you with your research. In exchange, you work for us for an alchemist and make some potions for our adventures. What do you say? Of course I'll accept. Thank you very much. All right. Welcome to the Adventurers Guild, Emily. Thank you all. I really appreciate it. Okay. Craft a potion. Oh, hey, good master. Hello, Emily. I was just wondering how you're fitting in. Everything's great here. This place is much bigger than the workstation workstations I've usually worked at. There's a lot of ingredients here I can't wait to try out. The best of all, I can finally sleep on a bed again. You don't exactly look like the adventurous type. Have you really been living in the last few weeks on your own in the forest? It wasn't all that bad. As you might think, I'm fully capable of surviving on my own in the wilderness. After all, I'm an alchemist, and there's a potion for every situation. If there was any danger, I could easily use one of my potions to get away. If I got sick, I could use a potion to nurse myself back to health. If I was hungry or thirsty, I'd just drink a potion. If I couldn't sleep because the ground was too hard, I'd just drink a potion. And even a laughing potion when I feel down. This explains the medical laughter people have been reporting. Thanks again, Guildmaster, for offering me a place to stay and help me find the ingredients I'm looking for. I wonder if there is laughing potions to get enemies not to waste a turn. We both benefit from this arrangement. I'm curious how good your potion making skills are. And how about I show it to you? Let's make potions for free. No. 50 gold is pretty cheap though. And I can make a lot. I have a list of ingredients I'd like to have. So this is another quest I gotta get here. Give me a set. Let me make some potions. Oh, I can't make any of these, though. Wait, I need 40? Oh, to make four. 10 per one. I think health potions are more important. Hello, good master. How can I help? Oh, I thought you wanted me to help you. I have a list of ingredients I'd like to have. I'm guessing that'd be somewhere else in here. No. Expires in 10 days does not expire. Minimum of one adventure, but you can have up to three in here. All right, we're going to work out what we're bringing to our next adventure. We'll take plate. I guess you can't go yet. But they're all unhappy. It's cost 200 bucks to make them happy. That's a lot. On your already eight. So you guys are staying. And we need four others. And then we don't have many for a quest. Holy moly. Oh, this is like a, a safe hunting just to level yourself up. Makes them unhappy because they're, uh, they're adventurous. They should love to go out and explore. All assigned characters receive 100 experience points. All assigned characters gain three hit, plus three hit points and plus three spell points. It's the guild to help their fields, saying they don't have enough lands. They can't offer much in return, but working the field could help the adventurers to build up some core strength. Okay. All right. So has this updated? Probably not. No. Will they upgrade next time? I've got it. All my money's about to go. All right, let's do a quest. That expires in 10 days. We can do that next time. Whoa. Okay, what do we got here? What's that? Location modifiers. This place is full of riches for daring adventurers. Well, 100% I'm going here. Um, Antidotes and stuff. All right. All right, Clay, you're in. Alan. 
Soya. Oh, I don't know. I can only take four still. So how do I unlock these? I just don't know about the healers because they don't seem to do much damage. But we've got to get them up anyway. Okay. So we take... Like, what's the harm of bringing extra? Because you bring it back anyway. It's just your inventory space. Uh, and then we need to take supplies. How many does it say we should have? Two, probably two per thing. So two, four, six, eight. My money! It's just decreasing rapidly. Is that all I need? I think so. Antidote. How much bleeding? We'll just heal it, yeah? Okay. I don't know. Alright, let's go. So I can just get this back anyway. Start the quest. There's lots of valuables. Okay. Don't hesitate to abandon the quest when it gets too dangerous. Eventuals are ex expensive investments okay collect three rainbow flowers mission started okay start a battle whose turn is it Soya. They're all right. Oh no, that one's ranged. This target tag skill weapon have three additional effects. Target gains two poison, 30 physical attack, 60 base chance for three turns. Let's hide in the bushes. Alright, what is the button? F. Um, we're just, are they going to get close enough for me to hit them? Yeah, probably. We'll let them get close. Okay, um, oh yeah, it's you first. I don't even think you can hit someone, mate. Long shot. Okay, you can with a long shot. Actually, a decent amount. I didn't check the, the hit chance. Good. Good. Can we take this guy out instantly? 86%. 86 is pretty decent. Or we could hit someone with a fireball. We don't really want to split damage too much. So if we can take someone out, we take someone out. Hopefully Sawyer will go first again. You'd think he would. Okay. You want Sawyer? Oh, come on, Sawyer. Doesn't he have, like, dodge in the trees? No. Sixty-eight percent. It's like pathetic. Does that cost me eighteen points? No, ten. Okay, and that's heroic hit. Yeah, okay. okay. Ninety-five. I don't know how much damage I need. We'll see. Oh yeah, we get the double attack, and they get friendship up. Perfect. All right, move you over here. Seventy-four. Let's just make it a hundred. Gone. I could block it. No, I can't block as well. Apparently. So if I fire from the trees, am I still? 
71. Just not good enough. Oh, all of us are going first? Oh, he's screwed. Okay. So if I get up next to him, is it more chance of hitting him? If I go behind him, is it even better? 91%. I feel like we can just do this though. I don't know. It's tough. Just do it. Yeah, just do it. Easy victory. Has she got the book still? No. Who did I get the book to? I forgot to swap it. That was silly. I've got to remember to move that book around everywhere. So what does it mean by extra stuff? I want to kind of... Oh yeah, here we go. I should have bought some keys. Oh, I don't even need it. Again, we complete these quests instantly. These are fine for us. Continue exploring. Uh, we should be a farm for a while here. We got. We'll do some camping as well. Ten. Uh, plus five crit. Okay, so what's the crit like on everyone? Minus one. So you're probably the one for crit. And I guess there's lots of inventory management going back and forward. How do I do this one? Okay. Do we get anything for disarming traps? This is a great place to be. Lightning, everything. Put that on our main dude, I guess. So yeah. What if I don't disarm the trap? I, and what if I do? Do I get extra experience for that? This is a bad idea, but I just want to see what happens. Okay. Alan received 50 experience. Huh? And if I don't, it just stays there or do I get actual damaged? Okay. All right, you gotta, you gotta learn these things. What is the, oh, that's a, like a, a bit of more of an elite. He's seen us. I hope there's not three of them. Oh my gosh. All right, we're going to be using a fire ball here, whatever it is, fire canister. Crazed boar. Whoa. Oh, he's got the raised area. You. All right, what's the best thing for you? Fire does tons. Frost does tons. Wait there. 12 to 14, 11 to 15, 11 to 15 as well, and we could take him off of it. That probably seems the best option. Oh, does he get to attack? No. Okay. Has to go into the person. 95%. All the dings and stuff. Oh, apparently someone said that we can increase the speed of combat. Dialogue speed. Um, auto hide bars during battle. Counter prompt. Automatically start movement section on units turn. Disable camp dialogues. Receive a warning when ending a turn with the remaining. We'll probably do that. Receive a warning when ending a turn with remaining AP. Use custom configuration file needs restart. Don't lock and hide cursor. Disable screen skate during battle. 
In in the conversations, it's fun, but maybe in the, people don't like seem to like that. No sound cue for enemies' turns. Okay, so I can't see a gameplay speed. Okay, I need this to hit. How likely are you Eddie, just to hit with the normal thing? It's gonna have to be done. 28 crit? Holy moly, mate. If you did that, it was a 5% chance or something, wasn't there? We get that first shot we do. All right, now we're going to be in a bit of a pickle. What does this give us? Range skills by 1 and accuracy by 10. Not hidden anymore. So I guess we try and stun him. We've only got a 68% chance to hit. Doesn't do any damage, so they're probably not the best idea, actually. Probably could have killed him. Okay. Oh, gosh. Bam. Luckily, we resisted that. Oh, he stunned me though. God damn it. Okay. That's such a small amount. Yeah, I don't know about the priests. They don't seem strong enough yet. Like, I guess cure poison and cleanse mind is okay. Maybe in a bigger group, because it feels like I'm just wasting so much damage potential. Aimed shot. 95. 50-50. Can we do 15 damage with this lady? She's the best. Uh, Clayt, come on, mate. Now, if I whack it into myself. He's got 15, so it's probably not going to happen. If I whack it into myself, what happens? Taking two damage to kill the guy is probably worth it. Oh, he went into me and it didn't take I didn't take any damage. Okay. So I'm stunned, which is horrible. What the heck? Oh, it's so annoying that it does that. Um, okay, so... He's got health, so get in front, mate. This will be one of the big fights that we have, so let's do it all. Can I cure stun? Actually, that'll be enough. If we get a high damage on this. Oh, wait, that. What if I move him into myself? Do I attack still? 15 damage? Man. Plate! I'm fire. Alright, then come and heal. What can we do here? Cure poison, cleanse mind. Remove stunned from target. Okay, well, there you go. And arcane resistance up. Oh. Block that. Where's he going? So I can knock him into my friend here. I don't know if that's gonna work on a on a ranged friend. It does. She helps out as well. Friendship going up. What a team we have here. Oh, he gets another turn. That was the last of it. Okay, fine. Moving all over the place. I think we go and heal up here, even though it's not much. My team can handle it. Maybe. If I go here, I'm not going to be able to hit the guy. 
58%. Do we take this try? Yeah, we do. Missed. You're not going to help much. Maybe you just heal her. She's going to have to use BP to get the hit and kill. 71. Yeah, we'll do it. Hopefully that might make them friends. Oh. Alright, she'll have to use a potion at some point. Take all and continue. So now we can camp. We'll get some bandits coming up. Alright, let's camp here. I think just use eight. Get as much as we can back. Oh, you get 15 BP points as well, which is awesome. Okay, we've got seven points. A single character goes out to hunt for supplies. The party receives two to four supplies. What? That's cool. Four of them. What's that? Two, four, six, 80 bucks. We got 0% chance to ambush at the moment. Okay, we got the least, but that's fine. That seems to be new. We, didn't, we haven't had a hunter with us. We don't need first aid. She could get some more mana back, though. One of us must have the talent to give even more points, because we don't normally have this. Oh. Join 10% for heaven. Oh, we don't, still don't need that. Polishes armor. Okay. Not bad, not bad. All right. Come at us. We got four of them. They always seem to have the high ground. I don't know if there's a way that we get the high ground or not, but... I guess we just wait for them to come to us here. It's not good to start first, realistically, in these fights. But the problem with delaying is then they get to go first next turn, potentially. All right, but we're on it. What's the stun like? Is that a stun? That's block. 89%. I don't think... Oh, we might as well block, I guess. Like, this guy can attack us. But this is one of the only, like, we're, we're getting close to the end of the fights. Physical damage. 13 to 15 compared to 8 to 10. Yeah, well, why not? And you get, does he, st it's stunned 93%. Maybe we'll wait until, like, we can get a kill off with that weapon. This seems the best skill by far. Only 5%. I don't know what to do with you. Just relax. Twenty-five percent chance to hit, nice. Ninety percent chance. All right, we'll just go for a standard slash here. Do, 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 do. 95%. Because everyone's around them, I think we get a higher chance to hit. You know, else want to join in? Oh. One person join in. Oh. All right, I think we just take them out normally then. Can't even get to us yet. All right. What do you think, guys? Just a standard hit? How far does this push them? Move five tiles. Can I move around them? No. 
I could push him back for no, no, because it doesn't do any damage. Let's just do a standard hit. Archer's getting attacked now. Bloody act. What's that? Love? What? Smack him into those rocks. Seventy-five percent chance to hit. Okay, and there's like no damage. Like that's fine. Loving it. Seventy-eight percent potentially kills. This one, hundred percent kills at ninety-five percent. Do it. What? Was that the five percent that we missed, or is that a special ability that he's got or something? Block five. How likely a character blocks a skill? The total accuracy is reduced by this amount. Okay, so we got that 5% chance to miss. Okay. Turn over. Maybe this will be enough to get the kill on with the clate. Oh, another attack on us. Loves pain. Oh, he loves pain. He's getting stronger and stronger. So this is 50-50. Oh, we just do this. Stronger. Okay. We'll do a little heal. Building up friendship. I guess that's the good thing about a priest. Building up all the friendships. Just go for a standard hit. See what happens. Jeez Louise. Can I move still? Let's move over there because then it gives us more accuracy, I think. Eighty-four percent. Very unlikely to kill. But if someone else wanted to help out, but you get another guy, mate. Well done, team. So, isn't she a higher level than all the rest? Maybe not. No loot at all? What the heck are these bandits doing? What's that? Target dummy? Water skin and a mana potion. Oh, I won't complain. Press in, uh, the party meets a group of travelers who are enjoying themselves, drinking mead around a campfire. When they saw the... When they see the adventurers... They invite them to join them. Accept or decline. Oh god, I have a bad feeling about this. The party accepts the offer. It would be good to unwind for a bit and they weren't exactly in a hurry. Travelers joyfully offered them mugs filled with mead. Oh gosh. Guys, you don't just eat, drink. You can bring your own drinks. Adventurers told stories about the adventures and the travelers would in return share their own stories. At some point, both sides started to exaggerate their stories, making them more epic than they probably were, making it a contest who could yarn the most implausible story. It didn't take long until all of the adventures were completely inebriated and fell asleep. Oh gosh. When they woke up, there were only ones left. It seemed like the travelers re recuperated much faster than the party had already left. Many of the adventures had a headache, were close to vomiting, even worse. When the party checked their belongings, they realized they were robbed. I knew it. Oh my gosh. Three of my health potions? For two encounters until next camping, Minus, oh, that is ruthless. At least we got experience for it. I think we're going to be gone. Jeez, told all our health potions. That's horrid. I don't think there's anything else here. That's it. We could just keep killing. I guess people keep spawning. Yeah. What's that? What's that? How did I miss those mushrooms? We're going to need all the mushrooms we can get. Recuperate our losses. All right. How do I complete the quest here? They stole all. They stole all my health potions. Ready for promotion. Okay. Oh.
Viola. I have a specific quest I'd like to, you to see. Is that so? You could have just put it on the pile on the other quests. I was worried you might overlook it because the rewards for it isn't much. It's from an old couple who can't afford much. What's the quest about? They're missing their son. Their son has recently decided to become an adventurer. One that isn't affli affili pardon me, affiliated with the Adventurers Guild. They said that they lost contact with him after he accepted his first quest. Probably was joined with that group of rabble. It doesn't bode well. Now they're asking us to find him. They're clinging to the hope that he's still alive. I'll think about it. Is that some kind of curse? <laughs> I always, I know that you're always a witch. Just insulted. That's that was just an insult. You. Do you have to think of something else now? Be quiet. I was trying to think. Thank you. What? That's it. I'm out of here. Oh look, we're gonna be best of friends. Wonder why she is invested enough that she tried to do the unthinkable. Story quests are different from the user quests that you receive. Unlike normal quests, story quests have unique maps and unique events waiting for you. Automatically unlock when certain conditions are met. Not all story quests have to be completed, but unique rewards will be rewarded upon completing them. So we'll probably get a new character. To select your story quest, go to the quest overview and click on the story quest tab. All right, so she's level, no, level three. Okay, oh, she's very, you're very happy. Knowing nothing and expecting nothing, the guild master brought me a drink one day ago. Okay. Alright. You get another level up. There it is. If we get ultra lucky again somehow, but... Guaranteed these two. This one's mostly guaranteed. This is good enough, I think. She doesn't really need these two things. We'll just confirm that. Because you might get very unlucky with the other ones. Okay. Nice. She's very happy. All right. You picked the right person. Now, has these things reset yet? Not, not you, actually. But we could make something else. Adept staff. You're already too powerful. Okay, these have reset. Another one of these books... What's this? Mind resistant. Can you get mind controlled? Um. I feel like that's pretty good. I don't know if I need mind resistant. Bleed poison and mind resistance. Doesn't seem too bad though. Okay. We probably need to get some more people because it's going to be hard when everyone's wounded all the time. All right, I can't complain about that. Oh, look at the like, this can't be right. Can't be right. Can't be that lucky. Wisdom up. Increases bravery by one. Every three points increases crit chance by one. Okay, so willpower's not that great on the priest, though. He's got one crit now. Talented swordsman. Oh, that's right. Annual brave with willpower. We haven't got any strength. So, I don't know. You can't do much about it. Be interesting if you could change one of these traits later. So that's just unlucky, but all the rest is fine. But I guess you don't need to be brave. What's the point of you having... Oh, but we'll get other things later. Probably be able to enhance our spells and stuff. That's fine. Okay. There's an adventure you can learn a new skill. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yes, but... What do we got here? A collection of basic protection spells for novices. Okay. Healing effects... 20% strong and will also remove bleeding. Well, that seems pretty damn good. Well, we can go down to here already. 40 accuracy for two turns, 20 crit for two turns, true sight for two turns. True sight? Are they going to be invisible people? 10 spell power. 
Let's do this one for, for the starter here. That'll make it a lot better, actually, because I was a little bit worried about how much they were healing. All right, cool. Um, let's see if we get some new people. These look new. Uh, we got Brave. Physical attack minus dodge. Strength growth minus dexterity growth. Well, that's not great. Just a huge arch and sword skills again. Got a decent amount of strength, I guess. Could make swap her into a, a sword master. Because then physical attack and strength growth is good. And she's just got a lot of dexterity, which is probably good anyway. Increases dodge, increases accuracy and initiative. Yeah, that's not bad. She's got minus 10 dodge, though, so that takes it all away, unfortunately. But we could make Mimi into a warrior. Oh, no, you can get mail. Sorcerer. All right, well... Uh, Clay, if you want me to change your dude into a your person into a male or female, just let me know. Whatever you want me to do. Doesn't really matter, though. Um, all right. Adrian's never exercised in his life. Okay. Willpower up. And he's dumb. Okay, that's not great. A sadist. What's this called again? Seed sadist? I don't know. Loves nothing more than to afflict pain unto others. Crit up and strength grows up. And you're a, a priest. That seems like the opposite of what you want to be doing, mate. Optimist, though. Positive. As long as she's inflicting pain. That's actually really good for another character as well. Strength growth and crit. We could make her into a, um, a rogue assassin. Victor, more often than not, acts first and thinks later. I think it's like it picks, it picks the um, if it's a male or female automatically for you. And then you can't change it afterwards, which makes sense. Okay. Um, okay. Hot-blooded, willpower and initiative, wisdom down, popular and resourceful, modifies on all attribute checks. That's heaps good. So maybe we'll take Hazel and Victor. What is it? First and strong. All these weird buffs on different people. How much does it cost to reach to swap someone out? All right, I'm going to recruit Mimi. It's going to cost lots of extra money, though. Victor. Wisdom up. That's fine. No, wisdom's this one. It's just spell power, which is fine. So Victor can stay what he is. And then you need to be a warrior. You got nice stats above the board there. You... Strength plus one. So you had three strength before. Always act first. And bravery up. Actually down. Ugh. We might leave that at the moment. That's a decent amount of people. Should I be talking to her? To this, does this do anything? Here for a drink, good master. Uh, did you use to be an adventurer? No. Why would you think that? Just seems very likely in a place like this. You really want to know? I joined the Adventurers Guild because of my husband. He was an adventurer and he was also one of the first adventurers to join the Adventurers Guild. When he joined the guild, I opened a tavern here and I helped uh, with the help of the former guildmaster. It's my way of staying close to him, because my family used to run a tavern in Craigmond, and I had no trouble with running one in the guild. Sure, adventurers can be a rough bunch, but most of my hu most but my husband always had a knack for reminding people not to cause trouble in my tavern. Makes sense. You say he was an adventurer. Oh, he never got to retire. But I guess that's never unexpected. That's the life of an adventurer. You. One day you were making plans for the future together and the next day he was none to be had i see there's no need to feel sorry for me guildmaster happened a long time ago right now i'm more concerned about people paying the tabs so i don't want that drink <laughs> there'll be a seat free for you here thank you 
Okay. Um, that should be all fine. We got some extra people to go on missions now. Hazel's always happy. So we can, let's swap Hazel out to be a warrior or a, an assassin. Class change, relationships, skills, equipment. How do we change class? Change name, change appearance, set class goal. A bonus. I've got to go over here, it looks like. Hazel, mate, teach. She can become anything she wants to be. Do we get another rogue? We haven't got many d warriors, actually. Confirm. Oh, she's in training for a day. Okay, it makes sense. Okay, we'll slowly go through the conversations as we do it. Uh, but we'll leave it there for now, guys. Thanks so much for watching. And if you do want to be any of these characters, let me know. Um, and I can swap them out. We can get a whole group of guys and girls. No guarantees you'll stay alive there. You might be in the stone memorial. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Wife Falcon out.